Now, many people start with the assumption that 14 billion years ago, the universe rapidly expanded, creating time and space as it went. Uh, eventually, all of that matter coalesced. It formed stars, galaxies, planets. Eventually, we came from stardust, right? So we ask people on the street, do you think that it takes faith to believe that an amoeba, for instance, could turn into a man? Here's what we got. I don't know if I can answer that question. Well, I think it's faith and science. I mean, because you can, I mean, if you're in a laboratory, you can see cells grow from experiments, so. No. You, life begins at conception and you have a baby in nine months, so. <laughs> After these days, anything is possible, um, especially with, I mean, we've seen like different kind of animals from out of nowhere in the sea. So I think if we could see like a little, a little thing turn to like a human being, especially with the genetics, I think it's really, I think it could be possible. Well, no, I mean, I think uh, there's two little particles, one in a woman, one in a man, and all of a sudden a baby's made, and I think <laughs> that sounds pretty accurate to me. It does take faith to believe that. It really does. I think it would probably take some persistence uh, to watch different phenomena occur over time to test your hypothesis. Um, but I'm not necessarily sure that faith is a part of that equation. Faith and a lot of praying and perhaps a miracle, yeah. Yeah. I do. I mean, like, because they still haven't been able to replicate it, like, right, so multicellular organism that's supposed to be one cell, like, swallowed another and started to, like, hang out. I've never seen that happen, so if you, you have whatever evidence you want, if you haven't seen it, you have to have faith. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Also takes faith to think that dust evolved into a man. Absolutely, it takes faith to believe an amoeba can turn into a man. <laughs> yes, it takes faith to believe in a whole bunch of stuff. Like you just, you have this passion about something and you believe that, okay, maybe if I turn this into this, put this two together, then it's gonna become what you believe that, uh, yeah. Yes, some sort of faith, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that nearly everyone said that it, ha it takes faith to believe that an amoeba could turn into a man. And that's accurate because we've never seen it take place. There's not an experiment that we could do to turn an amoeba into a man. There, uh, it's not observable, it's not repeatable. That means that it doesn't follow the scientific method. It really doesn't. Faith is generally seen as a weaker position, but you know we've kind of admitted our starting point as Christians, believe that God exists and the Bible is his word. When you ask the skeptic, well, what is your starting point? Many of them haven't even thought through like that they have a starting point. They'll typically say, well, their starting point is really all about facts, though. So then I ask them, what do you mean by facts? They say, well, you know, you know science and proven things. Mm. So, okay, well, what is science, especially when we're talking about origins, not so much about weighing something in the laboratory today, but when we're talking about events that happened in the unobserved past, what is science? Science is really the thoughts and opinions of other men and women, most of which we've never met. Mm. So then I would ask the skeptic, how do you know you can trust the thoughts and opinions of other men and women? And then they would say, well, I can... I can just tell, I can think through that and realize that they're correct. Okay, now you're relying on your own reasoning to figure out why men and women you've never met are correct about their opinions <laughs> about the past. Uh -huh. Then I ask them, how do you know you can trust your reasoning? Mm -hmm. Then they say, well, I know I can trust it because it's worked well uh, for me throughout my life, it's consistent, and okay, so now you're using your reason to tell me why you can trust your reason, <laughs> which is circular reasoning. Uh -huh. At that point, I say, you know what, but, but that's okay because everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah. I just wanted you to realize you're ultimately not so much about facts. You assume you can trust your own reasoning even though you can't prove that. That's your starting point. So at least we're being honest about where we're beginning and we use those starting points then to evaluate everything else.